Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We're doing um, ways to boost your breakfast. And I feel like this is a very common concern question. People constantly want to know what is a better breakfast option besides the pancakes, eggs, and bacon, I mean, which the is the best. Slam. Do you remember? Right. Like, the the grand slam. At Denny's? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. It's like five bucks, you know, yeah. back in the day. Yep. Um, so I, I just want to welcome everybody really quick. We are located on the third floor of Hillman Cancer Center in the teaching kitchen. So we are really glad um, to be able to bring you just a little bit more information about lifestyle nutrition here with the Wellness and Integrative Oncology Program. You're also welcome to join these sessions in person. So if that's something of interest, you know, we are keeping um, COVID guidelines of masking for in-person attendees and some distancing happening. If that's ever of interest, we will always be bringing this to you live stream. COVID has brought that uh, virtual technology to us and yep. it will never leave. So, Ange, I'm really excited about this because a couple of things. Like, one, I think breakfast, like breakfast is my favorite one to go out for. But two, I just think it's um, really, really, really important to eat breakfast. I notice sometimes on the days that like, I forget or I'm running out the house, lunchtime comes and it's like, let's show. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is really exciting. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. And this is like something that you can make in advance and yes. in bulk. And like, Angela's going to run through all the different types of oats um, with us just to talk. Cause I know that like we talk a lot about labels here, organic, uh, natural, oh, things yeah. like that. And yeah. Ange, she's great. I mean, I like personally come to her and I'm like, hey, this thing has added sugar. What am I looking at? Mm -hmm. So she's gonna run through labels with us too. So what to look for, what not to look for. So listen up, it's gonna be exciting. Yes. Danielle has definitely learned a lot about food labeling <laughs> since working with me. Mm -hmm. um, I think, just like you and everybody else, it's those marketing terms yeah. that really get you. And there's so many products on the market that you look for. And I, I feel like those keywords, those marketing terms, the way things are presented in the grocery store can really make you pick or choose certain things. So let's dive into the certain types of oats. So there's a million. Yeah. Um, and actually, like the whole form of an oat is actually called a groat. So before there's any manufacturing or processing done to the oat itself, it's considered a groat. I never know. Yeah. So they are actually naturally gluten-free. However, the processing, where they're manufactured, could actually cause a potential, um, uh, what's the word, where it's uh, contaminated. Yeah. So right. oats usually are okay for the gluten-free population, but now that they, you know, there's potential for um, that contamination, there is a gluten-free option of oats. Uh -huh. um, so that's just something to keep in mind. So prior to the manufacturing and the processing of oats, there's different ways that um, the manufacturing is done and that's where those different names come in. Okay. So there's like whole oats, which are in their complete form. Um, a groat is another name for the grain kernel itself. So the whole oat groats are the result of simply harvesting the oats, cleaning them and removing from their hulls. So they're a whole grain packed with fiber. And even when they're in this quick oats, rolled oats form, they're still just as nutrient dense. It's just the manufacturing that's the difference. Okay. So did you talk about that organic label on there too? So, no, I did. Um, organic, again, is a marketing term. Usually, whenever something is 100% organic, it will say 100% organic, like this just says organic. So, when something is simply organic, not 100% of the ingredients are considered organic. Um, if it says 100%, then all of the ingredients used are considered organic. If it says made with organic ingredients, 75% of the ingredients have to be considered organic. So again, those are different marketing terms. The term natural has no definition behind it. So that is simply <laughs> just a marketing term. People will purchase things just because it says natural. Yeah, this is the one right, right here. I'm like a sucker for marketing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, but overall, oats are a wonderful nutrient dense option. They are packed with fiber. They actually are a great source of protein. 
and they can help to improve cholesterol levels. So there's two different types of cholesterol, HDL, LDL. HDL is considered the bad cholesterol, okay. or I'm sorry, the good cholesterol. LDL is the bad cholesterol. So it helps to raise the good cholesterol, lower the bad cholesterol. Yeah. So it's definitely a good thing to include into your, um, if it's not daily, a few times a week for sure. What about like, um, well, I think we're going to talk about this, like taste. So mm -hmm. like these can be very bland and whatnot. So we're going to like, we're bringing you a bar of goodness and we're going to walk you through that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I no, no, that. no, no. And that's a good point because oats are bland. Yeah. Um, and our goal here is to kind of doctor it up, make your meal at home nutrient dense, but also satisfying yeah. and enjoyable, you know, yeah. because people think that eating healthy is not like, oh, it's boring or it's expensive or it's this or it's that. And it really doesn't have to be. So that's that's our goal here. But going back into the oats, so you've heard of steel cut oats, yeah. you've heard of rolled oats, you've heard of instant oats. So steel cut oats um, is actually the growth, so the whole oat, but cut into two or three pieces so that it's a different consistency, which makes it to actually cook quicker oh. so that the water can absorb into the oat itself. Okay. And another term for that is called Irish oats. Um, then there's Scottish oats. <laughs> so these are the those um, oats are actually made into a consistency of like porridge. Hmm. So it's definitely a lot more. Like I think of grits. Yeah, like you think of that. Yeah, you think cooked that? down completely, yeah, yeah. very moist, moist. and yeah. um, soft. You think they have Italian grit or oats or no? They don't. They don't. No. But if I feel like we went to Italy, we'd be like, what kind of oats do you have? We'd be like, obviously Italian oats. <laughs> Not Irish oats. Um, There's angel hair. <laughs> yeah. For breakfast. Yeah, exactly. uh -huh. um, so these here are, are quick oats, but they're rolled oats. So what rolled oats is, um, are the oak oats. They're steamed, but then rolled into flakes. So it's the consistency of it. Um, Obviously, I'm sure you've seen them before, but they're very flat, which means they cook very quick. Okay. And that's what we want for a breakfast meal. Yeah. Right? And what about overnight oats? What do you use for overnight oats? So overnight oats could be used as old fashioned, okay. um, which is a rolled oat, okay. but you just cook it overnight. Now, if you had like a whole oat or the actual roast, those take the longest to cook, almost 50 minutes compared to instant or quick, that's like a minute or two. Yeah. So that's not my stack, but you know, how about we know, you know, we're all about convenience. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to talk a lot about convenience. We're going to talk about where we got these groceries at too. So it's cost effective. Yeah. And keep in mind too, that these are just as nutrient dense. Yeah. But now rolled in quick oats are a little bit different than instant oats. Instant oats is where you get in trouble with a lot of added sugars, a lot of added salts, um, a lot of those packaged um, instant oats that have a lot of flavoring, like cinnamon, apple, yeah, oatmeal. There's a ton of sugar. Yeah, and I mean, as a kid, my mom gave me that because I wouldn't eat oatmeal regularly. Mm -hmm. But then I was thinking, I'm like, maybe if my mom made it like this, yeah, I would have enjoyed it. Right. Like, I had no idea that you could, like, put fruit in your, like, fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, especially, you know, one thing to talk about, too, is, like, um, you know, McDonald's, like, sells, like, an oatmeal to oh, go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, and I, like, my parents, that's like, oh, we're going to get an oatmeal from McDonald's. It's so healthy. I'm like, oh, God. But is it? No. You know, like, just like their salads that they sell. I mean, I like, know. you have yeah. to be careful of those things um, at fast food joints, at even restaurants. Like, Starbucks has an oatmeal that they yeah. have, which, um, again, it may be a better option, but they want you to like it. So yeah. they're going to add some extra ingredients to yeah. really, you know, doctor it up too. But this is something you can make at home. So let's talk about where we purchased these. All right. So we're going to switch it up next week, uh, in the coming week. So we've been a little bit more going to, well, let me step back. We were doing Instacart and Amazon uh, Prime delivery. To be perfectly honest, it's just really hard how they do their invoicing for us to um, justify those like charges in our system. So we just started going to the grocery store, which has been really nice because we've been finding some things. Um, and right now, Whole Foods is the closest to our location, but we will be expanding to Trader Joe's, um, getting more towards an Aldi and Giant Eagle. We've just been trying to get our operations underneath of us. Here today is all um, Whole Foods that this is purchased. But please let me tell you, I'm an Aldi shopper. 
um, to the core. And so you can find most of these same products, especially when it comes to nuts. Aldi has great prices on nuts that doesn't feel like you just like spent the bag and you need to like account for every single nut yeah. in that bag. So um, another thing that we're going to be using today, I know that for a fact that Aldi has chai seeds. They have a nice big bag of them. They also have um, flax. Mm -hmm. Flaxseed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I want to say flax. Chia and flax. Chia, I said chai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Chai, chai tea. tea. Chai tea. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then organic peanut butter um, we got from Whole Foods as well, but they also have great um, butters at Aldi. You can get cashew, almond, and just regular peanut butter. So some things just to keep in mind. Again, and just really a huge, huge resource for watching your labels and not getting confused by these marketing um, techniques and ploys, but really making you aware of what's on the back of that label, what you need to be looking for in ingredients, mm -hmm. um, the sugars, especially the added sugar on this oatmeal, you're going to really want to watch that added sugar, especially if you're doing any sort of instant package. But that's where we're shopping at. We're really excited to go to come up some other grocery stores um, and just kind of try to bring you a little variety. But I always say with Whole Foods, there are some great things you just have to watch because they certainly do have a lot of... Um, really overpriced things. One last thing, Target, it's becoming like a really cool little grocery like more store. Options, yeah. yeah. So I've been doing the Target drive up. I'm so sorry for like any mom that ever had to go to a grocery store with their kid that like no longer exists. Like I'm like, oh my God, I could never. Mm -hmm. um, but you can do if you get on their app, they have very reasonably priced options and a, and a lot of like decent options, um, healthy options. So it's mm -hmm. not like you're just getting like sausage, eggs, and milk, and bread, you right, know, right. Um, there's a lot of things. So that's always my take. I'm here for convenience and where we shop Absolutely. and how to save money. That's Aren't why. we all? I mean, I we know. all have busy lifestyles. We all have families. We have all people in our family that may not like the same things we do yeah. and have to buy certain things. So, and maybe you're not the best cook. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm getting better. But yeah. Because of this, so but. it's all about experience yeah. and actually getting in there and trying things. Yep. But going back to the grocery stores, you know, sometimes Whole Foods aren't available in your area, depending yeah. on where it's you live. Really, yeah. Um, so that's why we're trying to expand that to like Giant Eagle. Those are more yeah. readily available and what you can find there. And just to tell you a quick story, I'm from Beaver County and I went to the local shop and save. I was going to say shop and save is another one shop that's kind of fluttering up a bit. Well, yeah. uh, I went in there and I, I needed to find flax seeds okay. for a recipe that I was making. Yeah. And I asked the um, cashier, I'm like, do you guys have black seeds? She goes, what's that? Oh, man. Yeah. So then I actually found them, but in whole form. So I had to put them in my food processor, grind them up, because you can't digest. Whole. Oh my gosh, no, you'll be on the <laughs> go right <laughs> through you, you know? Yeah. Um, and just a quick story about chia seeds chia. that I told you before. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta be careful. this was like when I was a student and, you know, I'm trying to be this healthy dietitian, dietetic student, and chia I seeds. put chia seeds in my smoothie and I put entirely too much. Yeah. And it was like a chia pet was growing in my belly. <laughs> it was <laughs> insane. So, you know, a little goes a long way with it. This is packed with fiber. Yeah. And of course, if you're having oats, if you're adding raisins, you're adding nuts, fresh fruit, you're getting a lot of fiber packed into one little meal, which also is good though for that feeling of fullness yeah. and satisfaction. Yep. So you're going to feel full for a longer period of time and hopefully by lunch, you're not shoveling. Yeah. You know, you're like satisfied still and you can eat a smaller portion. You can truly then eat a salad for lunch. Yeah. And because like sometimes I'm like, okay, this felt like nothing. I'm right. starving. But if you eat a really, I don't know, nutrient dense like breakfast like this, mm -hmm. you can get a lot out of it. Yeah. So going into the chia seeds, they're actually a complete protein. So that means that they have all nine essential amino acids that you can't get, you know, in the body itself. And two tablespoons of chia seeds are 140 calories, four grams of protein, but 11 grams of fiber. Wow. So like oh, that is, is you totally had a chia And I had way more than two tablespoons. I'm just like, I'm so healthy. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I know my belly was like out to here. I was in pain, literally. Of course you were. Yeah. yeah. So, and then there's seven grams of unsaturated fat because it's rich in omega-3s. So not only are we having tons of protein, we're having tons of fiber, we're having healthy fats as well. Yeah. So this is a complete well-balanced meal. But again, this is adding extra ingredients, right? You know, um, so same thing with the, the walnuts. 
great source of omega-3s. If you're not into the chia seeds, doing something like a walnut with your added fruit, you can add peanut butter to it. So we're going to get started and actually prepare the oatmeal. However, let's dive into this food label real quick. Yeah. So Danielle. Ooh. Yes, here. Oh gosh, what are you gonna tell me? I'm gonna test her. Uh -huh. So, what's the serving size? Let's say profanities right now. <laughs> I'm not the serving size is a half a cup. Okay, but it's dry. That's important to know. Mm -hmm. So, when we are cooking this, we're gonna use one cup of water, a half a cup of oats, which is a serving. For it's one. gonna go a long way though. Wait till you see how big that is. Let's just do one serving. Yeah, we're gonna do one serving. And we, when we initially made this recipe, we did the six servings, which is five cups of water to three cups of oats. Um, and it made like a full pot. Yeah. We all ate breakfast that day. Yeah. But so one cup of water, half a cup of oats, and then we do do a dash of salt to just get that flavoring up. Um, so a half a cup is a serving. Yep. How many calories? 150. Okay. How many grams of carbs? 27. And then there's no added sugar. Which is really important because I, so I've been getting into kombucha because everybody says you should drink kombucha. And so yeah. I'm like showing Ange this label and there was 15 grams of added sugar. And I, and she was like, you're only supposed to have like 25 a day at the very most. Good job. I know. Thank you. I, I, mean, I, I, totally, I totally do because I'm so interested by these things. So I've been really watching that added sugar. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that there's not regular sugar because there's right. like total carbohydrates yeah. is sugar. Total sugar. Right. Yep. So. But Again, it's a complex carb, right. sugar, because it has fiber, and it also has five grams of protein mm -hmm. for that one serving. So, you know, a little goes a long way, but then again, you're, you're packing in so much more fiber, so much more protein, healthy fats. So this is going to go a long way. So let's get this started. We do, this is an induction type stove top. So you have to have an induction type of pot or pan to get this going. And we have to turn on the range. Yeah. So we have. Like, <laughs> I like how you're like looking at me like. Can I do this? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. All right. So we're gonna do one cup of water, half a cup of oats. You want to do the oats? I'll grab the water. You got it. Do I need to dump the? Are we dumping the oats in? Like, or does it have to come to a boil? Did you say it has to boil first? No. Oh. My gosh, sounds like a spaceship. Okay, let me see what it says actually. Because this on this, um, we actually are using the directions right from the box. So this says bring water and salt to a boil. She's right. And <laughs> then stir in the oats and boil for one minute. So just so you know, you're not gonna sit here for 20 minutes like right. you and watch this, you know, boil. This will boil in approximately a minute. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing you can do, do it in the microwave. Yeah, I'm not, I've never done this. Like, talk about real over here. <laughs> <laughs> but I would do overnight oats, to be honest. So all right, so we're gonna kick this up a notch. Yeah, because this boils water within literally seconds. Um, so we get this started. We're going to add the half a cup of oats and to make this easier for you at home to cut, if you want apples, dice them, have them cut up already, um, or just use something that's already in its form that you don't have to cut like blueberries. Right. Um, these walnuts are in the little bag. They're already halves in pieces. So they're good for consuming as is raisins too. You know, raisins are, a dry fruit, so they are a little bit higher in sugar. But again, if you look back at the food label, it's 32 grams of carbs for a quarter cup, which is on the higher end, but no added sugar. So it's coming strictly from the fruit. However, again, a little bit higher in sugar. Um, we're already boiling, see? Wow. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna dump this in. Mm -hmm. And now we do have to mix very, frequently with this because if it gets sticky and kind of gets to that form, you don't want. Now, say you were struggling with chemotherapy, your appetite's down, you're losing weight, you can really bulk up the calories and protein to this recipe in itself. Like it's already rich in calories and protein, but say you made um, the oats with whole milk instead of water. Yeah. So again, you're getting additional calories and protein there. 
And of course, you can use a plant-based milk if you're not um, if you're eliminating dairy. Um, adding a nut butter can get you some more fat, some more calories. Yeah. So there's definitely ways we can boost up the calorie content to make this, you know, better for somebody who is experiencing weight loss, a decrease in appetite, and it's a good texture thing. Yeah, for sure. So if you're having um, issues with mouth sores or swallowing difficulty, obviously the nuts probably wouldn't be a good option or the apples, but the oats, the chia seeds, the fruit, the nut butter could, you know, go a long way. And that's why the toppings are important. It's really what you wanted, right? You know, right. Let's talk about peanut butter. So peanut butter should be just peanuts. The ingredients should just be peanuts. Now this actually has sea salt in it. Um, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> um, and you can tell when something's just peanuts, it is not, it's, it's like bland. bland. Yeah, it's bland. Bland. Yeah, it's definitely bland. And when it is just peanuts, you'll notice that oil right at the top. Okay. And what I do when I store my peanut butter is I flip it on its top. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I store it like this right in the pantry so that that oil makes its way up so that every time I open it, I'm not I know, turning, turning. Really? It's flying up at your yeah. head. Like there's just, it's annoying. That's hilarious. Yeah. So that's something I do and just a little trick to the trade. But there's a lot of peanut butters that contain um, hydrogenated oils, which is trans fat, sugar, and sea salt. Yeah. This is just peanuts and sea salt, so it's not terrible. The sodium is only 40 milligrams for two tablespoons. So again, not terrible. Um, it's unsweetened. It's considered gluten-free. It's non-GMO. Here's all of our marketing terms. It's USDA organic, so it is labeled as an organic product. Um, but this is just some tips to, to really keep in mind because I think, you know, we look past the food label when it's considered a healthy food choice. Right. I do. When it says organic, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like even walnuts, raisins, a little goes a long way. So you really don't need a large portion of anything. Um, healthy or not so healthy. Everything is better in moderation and actually consuming the portion size. Listen, I'm going to an Italian restaurant. I'm going to Dia Noia's tonight. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, I haven't tomorrow. been since like the pandemic and there is no portion to any of that. No. And I would and get I that milky bread bowl. Oh, I know. <laughs> right? Talk about carbs. I know. So this is really, this is nice and fast. Like, you, know, you want to take a look, see where we're at. Like, I don't want to, I think probably a little bit more. Yeah, probably like 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah. We're, but I think what's important to show you, and this is kind of why I do think that um, I have the instant packages. Did you say organic? I'm gonna have to go home and check. But um, I wish you would have brought those in. No, for I just thought yeah, that. I like, I yeah. have it. But it's I think it's the same label as this. Um, so it is like 365. Brand. Yeah, it's 365 brand. It's like the same thing, and it's there's no flavoring to it because I definitely say. So maybe it is just this an individual pack. Yeah, I mean, I I'm gonna go and check. Yeah, because now I'm like, oh great. Um, okay, this is done. Okay. I'm gonna scoop this. This is not. Um, into a bowl and then show you all what this like serving size really looks like. And it's a lot. I mean, it actually you're is. Not, you're not like, oh, she just put a drop of oil. Now. Don't worry, I'm gonna scrape the entire thing to get every drop. Okay. And like just remember that we have not added any of the top, any of the toppings yet. This is not made with milk, this is made with water. So you can see that's like here's the bowl. Like you know, you can see the depth of it. And then that's a pretty decent size um breakfast. So again, Ange, do you want to walk us through maybe a little bit more about I I always feel like with the fruit, it's like I get into a head game of like. Uh, like, is this fruit so high in sugar? I mean, does it matter? Does it not matter? You're getting fruit, you need fruit. Fruit, sugar from fruit is the sugar you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? You mean not from my fruit snacks? <laughs> <laughs> not so much. I mean, I, I've had patients so fearful of sugar with their cancer diagnosis that they've eliminated fruit. And that is just not something you want to do. You want fruit in its whole form as much as possible. Like the skin on the apple itself is a great source of fiber. They're nutrient dense. They have antioxidants, phytochemicals, different functions for disease and infection, um, 
vitamins, minerals. I don't know if I said that. It's just like so beneficial to have fresh fruit as much as possible and vegetables. Um, so the sugar from food, fruit, don't worry about it because it's same thing like oats is a whole grain yeah. or not a whole grain. It's a complex carb, meaning it has fiber. It has good sugar, but not added sugar. And if you're adding things to it, like proteins, healthy fats, again, you're making that just such a balanced, complete meal. And that's really what you want. So I even tell patients, you know, it's better to eat your fruit with a protein. Yeah. So to make it even more of a complex, balanced meal or snack, having nut butter with your apples or having a little bit of uh, nuts with your blueberries is going to be a better combination than just to have fruit by itself. So don't be fearful of sugar when it comes to things like oats, beans, fruits, and vegetables. Things like um, pop, cookies, pastries, candy, those are simple sugars that you definitely do want to limit. You do not need to eliminate them or avoid them. You really just want to eliminate any unnecessary stress associated with your diet, to be honest. Okay. I feel like people get so hung up on their food choices when they're allowed to eat certain foods, following a strict diet, when that could cause them unnecessary stress. You want a sustainable lifestyle approach and a diet that's well-balanced, but still room for enjoyment. Right, absolutely. And that's really what our philosophy here is with regarding lifestyle nutrition. It is meant to fit your lifestyle because you're not going to do something that's inconvenient and you're not going to do something long-term that is inconvenient. Correct. I had a patient who, whose wife was really eager to put him on a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. This man loved pizza. He <laughs> loved red meat. And for him to go on a strict diet like that was not realistic yeah. to the point where he was following it and sneaking off to McDonald's. I mean, yeah, like you don't want that. No. I mean, and then he felt guilty. Sure, of course. You know, so there's all these emotions and negative feelings and almost a bad relationship with food right. at the end of the day, which you really want to avoid. But I know with a cancer diagnosis, you can't control your diagnosis. Right. You can't control your treatment options, but you can control what you put to your body. Right. And that's one thing you want to focus on, but not stress over. Right. And another thing too, and um, just even like if you need a little bit more sweet, like adding honey or, or agave nectar. Agave nectar. Yeah. And then monk fruit is another type of sweetener that is in powdered form. It's in liquid form, um, no added sugars. It is a naturally zero calorie sweet. Okay. Right. So a little goes a long way with those things. Right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So um, right now we're going to uh, conclude our recording of this. Thank yes. you all for joining. We will take questions after for those that are on the um, on virtual or in person. Thanks so much. We hope to see you next week. Same time, same place, same people. So I believe